the barn, waded to the barn this morning to get my snow shovels. It was this deep. Um, needless to say, we would not be at Conflict Hall this morning. So, in case this has not passed through your uh, mind, there's a, uh, another thing to be grateful for that we can keep meeting even in a huge snowfall. Um, I have decided to stick with celebrating the light. We'll work with uh, the mechanisms for uh, releasing sorrow after Christmas, um, but for now we're going to keep focusing on the light. Jyoti Shmati. Samastiti. Look down through your feet. Stand tall through your crown. Notice your breath coming in and out of the body. Steady the gaze. Bring the attention into this moment. Begin by bringing the hands into Anjali Mudra. Base of the thumbs at the base of the sternum. Feeling the hridaya, the heart center. And bring your attention to that point at the base of the sternum, which is drawing our awareness into the heart center, that non-physical place within the physical body. I'm going to chant Sutra 136 as you rest your attention at the heart center. Ishaka The light is the emanation of Purusha, of your true self, which means that it's always present. Yes, it does become veiled and covered, but nonetheless always present. So we'll move in and out of Tadasana six times, returning the hands to the heart center each time, returning the attention to the heart center over and over and over again. And as we lift up into the pose, feel that gentle lift and open of the center of the chest. Gaze steady, breath long and smooth. Postures comfortable and steady. Lips gently closed. Keep your gaze focused on one unmoving point. With the inhale, arms move out and up and the heels lift up off of the floor. Lift and open the chest. Hands meet overhead, then exhale, lower the arms and the heels and return the hands to the heart center. We'll do it five more times. Inhale, lift. Open. Feel yourself full of light. And exhale. 
lower and return the hands to the center of the chest. Gaze steady throughout. Inhale, arms out and up, heels lift. Feel the opening and lifting of the chest. And exhale, hug the belly in as the arms and the heels come back down. Hands meet in Anjali Mudra at the heart center. Let's do that three more times. Take your time, lengthen the breath, let it be slow, let it be smooth. Take a little pause at the end of the inhale and feel that openness. And then take a little pause at the end of the exhale and be with the stillness. When you're done, the hands rest at the heart center. Relax the control of the breath. Feel your feet on the floor. Let them root down into the earth. Stand tall, lifted through the crown of the head. Observe how this drops the chin and retracts the ears. Soften the shoulders. Feel the chest soft and open, not thrust, just relaxed and open. Now we'll move into a version of Uttanasana, straight-legged forward bend. There'll be a half Uttanasana. And we're going to keep attending to the heart center. With the inhale, move out from Anjali Mudra to the arms in the wide position. Exhale, gently draw your belly in and bend down with your hands coming on to the lower back. Let the head hang for a moment. And then with the inhale, open your chest, flatten the back. Be sure your eyes are still down on your feet. And then exhale, relax forward, let the heaviness of the head pull down. And with the inhale, open the arms, open the chest, come up with the arms wide. And we're going to do it six more times. Exhale, bend down, bringing the hands to the lower back. Inhale, open the chest. Feel the heart center, keep the gaze down. Exhale, release and soften forward. Inhale, open the arms wide and lift the chest. Feel the heart center lifted. Pause a moment. And exhale, hug the belly. Bend down again, hands coming to the lower back. And inhale, flatten the back. Open the chest. Keep your gaze down. Exhale, hug the belly and release into the forward bend. Soften the neck, let the head hang. With the inhale, open the chest, arms go wide, stand up tall. Three more times. Exhale, draw the belly and bend down. Hands to the back. And inhale, open the chest. Exhale, hug the belly, release into the forward bend. The hands are still behind the back. Inhale, arms wide, open the chest, come up. Pause, let the chest open, twice more. Exhale, hug the belly, bend down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, draw the belly in, relax the neck, head heavy. Inhale, arms wide, chest open. Please do that one more time on your own. Draw the belly in as you exhale and fall forward.
We'll finish by drawing the hands back into Anjali Mudra at the heart center. Relax the breath. Steady the gaze. Body comfortable and steady. Awareness inside the body. Breath breathing itself. In the heart center, that emanation, the light, always present. That space is so full of light, in fact, that it's free from sorrow. No space for sorrow there. is not to say that we don't experience sorrow. Um, we do. We suffer in ways large and small all the time. But in the place of our true self, that does not exist. Relax the arms down. We're going to extend the vinyasa with Virabhadrasana and Parshvottanasana that we've been working on. Uh, we're going to add a, a movement towards an open triangle, not a twisted triangle, but a lateral triangle, um, with an awareness of the chest staying open and broad as we do that movement. Begin by steadying the hips and turning the right toes out. Step the left leg forward. And draw the hands into the heart center. Be sure that the hips are square, which is going to mean the right hip needs to draw forward slightly. Chin stays down for the initial movement. With the inhale, keep the mudra and stretch the arms up overhead. Chin is staying down. With the exhale, the front knee bends and you fold down. Bring both hands onto the left leg. And then inhale, lift and open the chest and the arms wide. With the exhale, fold down, bring the hands to the back and straighten the left leg. And now we're going to the triangle. Bring your left hand down to your left leg and open the right arm to the ceiling. Open the chest, look up. And then exhale, fold down. Bring both hands down onto the left leg or the floor. Pull your right hip forward. And then inhale. Bend the left knee. Arms out and up all the way up into the full Virabhadrasana. And exhale. Draw the hands down to the heart. Straighten the left leg. Square the hips. Again, inhale. Stretch the mudra up overhead. Chin down. Exhale, bend the front knee and fold down. Both hands coming to the left leg. Inhale, arms wide, chest open. Exhale, straighten your left leg as you bring your hands behind you and bend forward. And then the triangle, left hand to the left leg, right arm to the ceiling. Turn and look up on the inhale. And exhale, bend forward. Hands onto the left leg or the floor. Pull your right hip forward. Inhale, bend the left knee. Arms out and up. Full hero pose. And exhale, hands to the heart. Front leg straight. Again, inhale. Stretch the arms up. Open the chest. Exhale, hug the belly. Bend your left knee and fold down. Touch the leg. Inhale, arms wide, chest lifted and open. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Let the hands come behind the back, fold down. Inhale to the triangle, reach the right arm up and turn the chest. Turn at your hips as much as you can. 
and then exhale, bend forward. I want to pull the right hip forward as you go to the forward bend. And inhale. Bend the knee, arms out and up. Lift the chest as you raise the arms. And exhale, draw the mudra back down to the chest. Straighten the left leg. Three more times. Inhale, stretch up with the hands. Exhale, hug the belly, bend down. Bending the front knee. Inhale, arms wide, chest lifted. Exhale, straight leg, bend forward with the hands to the back. Inhale to the triangle, turn the chest, turn the hips, look up. Exhale to the forward bend, draw the hips back down. Inhale, lift, arms wide, chest open, mudra forms up overhead. Exhale, draw the hands back down to the heart. Straighten the left leg, square the hips. You're probably need to bring your right hip forward. Two more times. Inhale, stretch up with the mudra. Hug the belly with the exhale, bend forward as you bend the left knee. Inhale, arms wide, lift the chest. Hug the belly with the exhale, bend down, hands to the back as you straighten the front leg. And inhale, open to the triangle, reach the right arm up to the ceiling, turn and look up. Exhale, draw the belly in and bend down. Pull the right hip forward, relax the neck and shoulders. Bend the left knee, inhale, arms out and up, lift the chest, form the mudra, and draw the hands back down to the heart. Straighten the front leg, square the hips. One more time. Inhale, stretch up with the mudra. And bend forward with the exhale, left knee is bending. Inhale, open the chest and the arms. Exhale, straighten the leg, bend down, hands to the back. Inhale, right arm up to the ceiling, open the chest. And exhale, bend down. Bring the hips square, drop the right hip forward. Inhale, bend the left knee, lift up. Open the chest, form the mudra up overhead, and draw the hands back to the heart center as you straighten the front leg on your exhale. Pause and relax. And then release the hands. Step the left leg back. Relax in Samasthiti. Attention in the body. Breath, breathing itself. out of the practice just a little bit because I think this is relevant. Feel your body now. We just did something asymmetrical. It would be very odd to just walk away right now from the mat. Um, we're going to the other side and we're going to counter pose and hopefully you'll feel more balanced. But be mindful when you go out to shovel. It's a lot of repetitive movement and often we have one way that we shovel and it's just as though you did a yoga vinyasa and didn't do the other side to balance yourself out. So try to switch your positions and then also try to give yourself a counter pose. This is your warm up, but you'll be responsible for your stretch afterward. Okay, so we will do the other side. Keep the hips square. Turn the left toes out. 
bring the right leg forward. Connect down through both feet, form the mudra with both hands, meeting at the front of the chest. Steady the gaze. Inhale to the heart center as you extend the arms up, keeping the hands together and the eyes down. Exhale, bend the right knee and fold down. Inhale, arms wide, lift and open the chest. Exhale, draw the belly in and fold down. Straighten the right leg as you do that. And then inhale to the triangle, right hand to right leg. Open the chest, reach up with your left arm. And exhale, fold down. Hands can be on the leg or the floor. Turn your hips so your left leg is forward. And then inhale, bend the right knee. Arms out and up. Lift the chest from the mudra. Exhale, hands return to the heart, front leg straight, square the hips, bring the left hip forward if necessary, and do it five more times. Inhale, extend the arm of the hands up, lift the chest. Exhale, draw the belly in, bend down to touch the right leg as you bend the right knee. And inhale, lift and open the chest and the arm. Exhale, bring the hands behind the back as you straighten the right leg and fold forward. And inhale, coming to the triangle, turn the chest, turn the hips, look up. Exhale and fold down. Draw the left hip forward, relax the upper body. Inhale, bend the right knee and come out and up to the rear of Madrasana. Exhale, hands down to the heart. Front leg is straight, square the hips. Again, inhale, stretch up with the hands. Keep the chin and the gaze down. Exhale, bend the knee and fold down. Inhale, lift and open. And exhale, straighten the right leg as you fold down with the hands behind the back. Inhale to the triangle, turn and look up. Exhale to the forward bend. Draw the left hip forward with you, relax the neck and shoulders. Inhale up into the hero. And exhale, draw the hands back to the heart. Straighten the front leg, square the hips. Three more repetitions. If you're starting to get it, bring your attention more in. Rely on me less and be more in the experience for yourself. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, bend the knee, fold forward. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, straighten the right leg, bend forward. Hands behind the back. Inhale to the triangle. Open and look up at the left hand. Exhale, forward bend. Bring your left hip forward with you. Inhale, bend the knee. Lift up to the hero. Exhale, hands to the heart. Front leg straight. Square the hips. Two more repetitions. Keep the breath smooth. Inhale, stretch up with the hands. Exhale, bend the knee, fold down. Inhale, lift and open. 
Exhale, forward bend, hands behind the back. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, up to the hero. Exhale, hands return to the heart. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, bend down, front knee bent. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, front leg straight, fold down, hands to the back. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale to the hero. And exhale, hands to the heart, front leg straight, square the hips. See if you can go through that repetition, that sequence one time on your own. As you're ready, return to Sawasati. Rest the breath. the hands to the heart center. Arda Utkatasana variation, just three repetitions. The chin down. Inhale, bring the arms out wide. Feel the chest lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fold down and bring the hands to the back. See how close your forehead can go to your knees. And inhale, arms out, chest open, straighten the legs, and exhale, draw the hands back into the mudra. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale, bend the knees, hands come to the back, fold down, bring your nose towards your knees. And then inhale, open the arms wide, open the chest, straighten the legs, come up. And exhale, hands back into the heart. One more time. Inhale, arms wide. And exhale, bend the knees, fold down, hands to the back, nose to the knees. And inhale, open the arms and the chest, straighten the legs and come up. 
exhale, draw the hands back to the heart and relax the breath. Feel the awareness at the center of the chest. Notice the beating of your heart. Perhaps you can feel the circulation around your body. That's not the same thing as the light, but you sure wouldn't have it without the self being there. So it's not an emanation of the self, but it's um, completely dependent on the presence of the self. arms and we're going to take another variation of the warrior, the hero pose, Durvadrasana. This time a wide-legged um, version. Actually no, this is um, Pajra Konasana. It's the wide angle pose, um, not the Durvadrasana. So take the legs wide, hands on the hips, and we'll begin by turning the left toes out to the side. We're just going to take three repetitions, but we'll stay for a breath. It's a big side bend, so we're going to stay in that side bend. And when we're in the side bend, we want to keep the chest really lifted and open. Bring the hands into the mudra to begin. With the inhale, we're going to bring the arms wide and bend the left knee. Push the left knee behind you a little bit to open the front of the hip. And then with the exhale, bend down so that the left arm is resting on the left thigh. Right arm up overhead and look up. And here's where we stay and breathe into the heart center. And stay and exhale, pull the belly in. Stay open in the front of the body. And keep the knee bent as you inhale and lift up. Arms wide, chest lifted. And then exhale, hands return to the heart, straighten the left leg, check that the hips are square, the front body is forward. Two more times. Inhale, open the arms wide, bend the left knee and push it back a little bit. And then exhale, hug the belly, bend down to the left leg, stretch the right arm up overhead, keep the chest open and inhale into the heart center. Stay and exhale, pull the belly in, push your left knee back. Keep the knees bent as you inhale and lift up, open the chest. And exhale, hands to the heart, straighten the left leg, square the hips. Just once more, inhale, arms wide, bend the left knee and push it back. Exhale and bend down. Open the heart to the ceiling. Stay for the inhale. Nice long stretch in the right side. Stay for the exhale. Pull the belly in. Push the left knee back. And keep the knee bent as you inhale and lift. Then exhale. Hands to the heart. Left leg straight. Square the pelvis. Relax your arms down, unrotate the left foot, step for a moment back into Samastiti, relax the breath, awareness in the body. Feel the breath moving. Feel the floor beneath your feet. Feel your tall, open, steady and comfortable position.
And then we'll take the other side, bring the legs wide. Steady the pelvis, turn the right toes out towards 90 degrees. Bring the hands into the mudra at the heart center. Inhale, arms wide, bend the right knee, push it back towards the wall behind you. Then bend down, exhale as you bring the right arm to the right thigh, left thumb up overhead. Heart open as you inhale here. And full, complete, smooth exhale here. Inhale to the top. Right knee still bent. And exhale, straighten the right leg. Bring the hands in front of the heart. Stay lifted in the spine. Twice more. Inhale, arms wide. Bend the right knee. Push it towards the wall behind you. Exhale, side bend. Keep the chest open. Inhale, breathe into the heart center. Exhale, out of the belly. Push the right knee back. Inhale, lift with the right knee bent. Open the chest. Exhale, hands to the heart. Right leg straight, center the pelvis and the spine. One more time. Inhale, arms wide, bend the right knee. Exhale, side bend. Stay and inhale to the heart. Exhale from the belly, push the right knee back. Inhale, lift back up. Continue to push the right knee back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Right leg straight. Square the hips. Release the arms. Unrotate the right leg. Step back into Samasiti. Feel the life in your body. Let that sense of life in the body lead you to the sense of light in the body. Bring the hands to the heart. We're going to do three more repetitions of Ardha Utkatasana as we did it before. Inhale the arms wide. Chest is open and lifted. Exhale, bend down. Bend your knees. Bring your hands to your back and fold down. Knees toward, or nose towards your knees. Inhale, arms open, chest open, legs straight. And exhale, hands to the heart. Twice more. Inhale, open the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, heart the belly, bend the knees and fold down. Inhale, arms, chest open, legs straighten, come up tall. And exhale, hands to the chest. Last one, inhale, arms open wide, chest lifted, exhale, draw the belly in, hands to the back as you bend your knees and fold down, and inhale, lift and open, exhale, hands to the heart. Relax the breath. Maintain the mudra. Maintain the awareness at the heart. Again, I'll chant the sutra.
heart center that is full of light is free from sorrow. Let's come down onto the knees. We're going to work with a vinyasa. There will be a um, a couple up dogs and a little back bend and a full prostration. We're standing tall on the knees, arms down, chest lifted and open. Inhale and raise the arms forward and up. Go ahead and lift and stretch the front of the body. You can bend back. Exhale and draw the belly in, fold all the way down to the floor and extend the arms fully forward. Then inhale to an upward dog. We're going to keep the knees down, but press the floor away with your hands, lift your chest and drop your shoulders. And exhale, bend the elbows close to the body and go all the way down to the floor, forehead down. Inhale, slide your hands forward and lift your chest up, draw your shoulders down your back. And exhale, release the forehead to the floor. Your arms are outstretched, and we're going to stay and relax the body as we inhale slowly. Exhale completely. Inhale, return to upward dog. Hands come under the shoulders. Push the floor away and lift the chest. And exhale to down dog. And we're going to stay for a breath in down dog. Please remember you can bend your knees. Push the floor away. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Now either up dog or bring the knees to the floor. You choose full up dog with the knees lifted, shoulders down the back. Or you can be in all fours position. And then exhale, knees to the floor. Return to child's pose. Inhale, lift up tall, open the front of the body. And exhale, bring the arms down to the side. You'll have the chest stays lifted when the arms come down. We're just going to do that twice more. Inhale, as the arms come up, feel the chest lift. Lift your ribs off, off, off of your waist. Exhale, bend down. Reach the arms all the way forward, and inhale to upward facing dog. Drop the hips, drop the shoulders, push the floor away with your hands, and then exhale, bend your elbows, lower the forehead down to the floor. Inhale, slide your arms straight forward like Superman and lift your chest, pull your shoulders down your back. Exhale, forehead to the floor. And relax the body as you slowly inhale. And completely exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Push up. You can keep the knees down for this one. And then exhale to downward dog. And stay for one complete breath. Inhale fully into the chest. And remember the idea of breathing into the back of the heart center as well. Exhale, draw the belly into the spine. Keep the chest lift or open. 
and inhale upward dog or simply knees to the floor either way open the chest and then exhale hips back to the heels and inhale stand up on your knees open the front of the body and exhale bring the arms down to the side soften the shoulders keep the chest lifted one more repetition inhale stretch up with the arms open the heart exhale bend down to the floor extend the arms fully in front of you and inhale to modify upward dog with the knees on the floor chest open shoulders down exhale bend your elbows go all the way down to the floor and then inhale, stretch the arms forward and raise the chest and the head. Feel your shoulders pull away from your ears. Then exhale, lower your forehead down to the floor and we stay for the breath. Relax the body as you inhale slowly. Exhale completely, be sure you're pulling your belly button into your spine. And then inhale to upward dog, hands under the shoulders. Lift the chest, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale to downward dog. Push the floor away. Hips to the ceiling. And stay for a slow breath in. Complete breath out. Inhale to either up dog or knees to the floor. All fours. Open the chest in either case. And exhale. Knees to the floor, hips back to the heels, child's pose. Inhale, stand up tall. Lift and open the front of the body. And exhale, arms down. Chest lifted and open, shoulders relaxed. We're going to come down to lie on the back with the knees into the chest. Either hold the knees with your hands or rest your arms on the floor, whichever works better for you. In either case, relax the feet, relax the shoulders, soften the face and close the eyes. Natural breath. When you rest the body and the breath, you also rest the mind by keeping it aware inside the body. Bring the feet down to the floor. Take a moment relaxing with the knees bent, feet on the floor. If your arms weren't on the floor at your sides before, bring them down now. Palms up, let everything relax. Breath is still free. Now we bring the feet and knees close to each other so that the knees are touching, feet are close. 
Hands to the heart center in the Anjali Mudra. Siptavada Konasana, we're going to keep the hands in the mudra when we raise the arms up overhead. And we'll stay for a breath in the open position. With the inhale, stretch your arms up overhead and open the knees wide. And then we stay here and exhale. And stay and inhale. Breathe into the chest, let the legs relax. And then exhale, return the mudra to the heart as you close the knees. Five more times. Inhale, stretch the hands up overhead and open the knees, relax the inner thighs. And stay and exhale. If the back's uncomfortable at all, just press your lower back down and press the back ribs down. And stay with the inhale. Then exhale, knees together. Hands back to the heart center. Inhale, arms up overhead, knees wide. And stay for a breath. Smooth, slow, complete exhale. Non-reactive inhale, breathing to the heart center first. And exhale, bring the hands back to the heart and the knees together. Please do that three more times on your own. Close your eyes if they're not closed. Breathe into the posture. Three more repetitions. Stay for one breath each time you get into the lifted position, the open position. When you're done, bring your hands to the floor with the palms up and just take your feet a little bit wider. Let the knees stay touching. Relax a moment like that.
draw the knees to the chest. Place one hand on each knee. Lengthen the back of the neck and relax the shoulders. Relax the feet. Six repetitions of Atanasana. Exhale and draw the thighs in close to the belly. Feel the lower back stretch. Pause with the breath out. Inhale, breathe into the heart. And then let the belly soften. Knees moving away from the chest and pause. Exhale, hug the belly, hug the knees. Relax the shoulders, soften the feet. Pause with the breath out. Inhale to the heart first. And soften the belly as the knees move away. And pause. Exhale from the belly. Draw the thighs in. Soften the shoulders and the feet. Pause with the breath out. Eyes closed, face relaxed. And inhale first to the heart. And allow the belly to expand. Knees move out away from the chest and pause. Three more repetitions on your own. Keep the feet and the face relaxed. Keep honoring those pauses. When you're ready, feet to the floor. Take a moment with the knees bent, arms wide and relaxed, breath relaxed. Feel the life, the vitality flowing around the body. body, mind, where there's this life and movement, there's a point of stillness in the heart, body constantly changing, mind always moving, self, Purusha always resting, simply gazing. As you're ready, move into Shavasana. Let your legs stretch out long. Feet separated as wide as the mat. Arms wide so that the shoulder blades are flat on the floor. the body settle. The 
relaxing more and more. Take your time to steady the body, to bring it to a comfortable position. And then relax it completely once you're there. Giving the body a good rest. When you keep it still for these several minutes, you'll also begin to find a rest at the level of the nervous system. The energy can quiet. Allowing the breath to breathe itself. Bring the mind to rest inside the body. Ultimately, bringing the mind to rest at the heart center. Finding that awareness of the Jyoti Shmati, the light of the self.
of the breath, moving in and out of the body. And just slowly stretch the arms up overhead. Long stretch from fingers to toes. And then the knees into the chest. Let the knees and rock them gently back and forth from side to side. And roll to the right side. And come up to sit comfortably. Find a seated posture where your sit bones are well supported. Spine is lifted. Soften the shoulders. Open the chest. Soften the face. Find a very gentle inward ujjayi, a whispered ah, but very soft too, so you can barely hear it. Feeling the breath move into the heart center, and as the breath moves out of the body, just soften the shoulders. Release down into the support of the floor. Gently feel lifted and open with inhale, no strain. And on the exhale, relaxed and supported. And then speaking silently to yourself. On the inhale, repeat. Inwardly, silently, full of light. And on the exhale, free from sorrow. Mental repetition. Inhale, full of light. And exhale, free from sorrow. Keep the, light, the breath light but controlled. Now release the control of the breath, but continue the mental repetition, full of light, free from sorrow.
Attention at the heart center as you say these words silently to yourself. Bring the hands to the heart center. Close by chanting the sutra again. And of course, if you're beginning to know the sutra, chant it aloud with me. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy this beautiful day. Um, looks like it's still snowing a little, but the snow is really light right now. So if you have shoveling to do, it'd be great to go do it soon while your body is warmed up and the snow is still light and fluffy. And do give yourself a counter pose and do try to alter the position in which you're shuffling. Um, so I wish you a, a wonderful snowstorm and hope to see you Monday night. Uh, we'd love to hear from you if you're coming to the solstice meditation celebration, um, eight o'clock on Monday night. That'll be on Zoom, so we do need to send you a link. And there will be class on Tuesday. We'll keep going with Jyotish Mati. And no class next Thursday, unless we're getting buried like this again. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping to be traveling next Thursday. So um, stay well, be in touch about the solstice celebration, and um, stay safe in the storm. Okay. Thanks for being here. <laughs>